What happens if Bitcoin adoption stops? This is an interesting question because I think a good answer would ironically encourage more adoption. This is because I still believe many normal people that don't hold Bitcoin still view it as a game of greater fools. You must eventually find a greater fool to buy your digital rock from you at hopefully a higher price. Of course, I think they come to this conclusion because they've never thought deeply about what money is to begin with. Obviously, money is a tool for savings and trade. It's a tool that is scarce, durable, portable, fungible, and divisible. Objectively, Bitcoin has the best properties, which makes Bitcoin the best money. But what if adoption did stop for whatever reason? No new people started using Bitcoin as money, and all the existing people using Bitcoin as money just continued using it as money. What would we expect to happen? Well, considering Bitcoin is better money, since it's money that doesn't debase, and people are still using it as money, are actively saving for their long-term future, then I would expect Bitcoin to continue performing exceptionally well. A potential comparison for this might be gold. Gold adoption is mostly not growing, certainly not at the adoption rate like Bitcoin, yet gold's price has been going up significantly for decades. Since 1970, gold has had a compound annual growth rate of almost 8%, and that's with its supply still growing at about 2% per year. So net new supply adjusted, gold is growing at 10% annually since 1970. Another way to think about it is with M3. The broad supply of dollars is also growing at about a 7% compound annual growth rate since 1970. But M3 still doesn't include segments of the global dollar market like shadow banking and other liquid off-balance sheet dollar assets. This means if you could theoretically hold a non-dilutive dollar, it would be growing at about 7% annually. So how would Bitcoin perform if adoption completely stopped? Well, I think it would have a compound annual growth rate of at least 7 to 10% over the coming decades. Of course, this is nothing like the 50 to 100% compound annual growth rate Bitcoin has experienced in the past, but a 7 to 10% return is pretty good for an asset with no counterparty risk and no dilution risk. There's very little execution risk for Bitcoin especially compared to real estate or public equity, which would generate similar returns. So if Bitcoin adoption stops, Bitcoin will likely continue doing fairly well, and it will continue being the best asset to store wealth in for decades. Of course, this very idea becomes a reflexive feedback loop. If this is true, then it highly incentivizes another massive wave of adoption. If Bitcoin is the best long-term savings technology due to its superior monetary properties and lack of counterparty risk, then global adoption is likely going to grow from 0.1% to 1% to 10% and eventually close to 100%. This means a 1,000x increase in adoption at a time when 94% of all Bitcoin have already been mined. This would lead to the price absolutely soaring massively outperforming the 7-10% to returns that we may see if adoption completely stopped. Thanks for watching everyone, and see you next time.